president of Cyprus defended his decision in a televised speech earlier on Monday. The country now faces an uphill battle reviving the economy and winning back support of a nation skeptical of the euro. Sandra Gatman reports. A nation in crisis and its president trying to hold it together. We have an obligation to stand on our feet to escape the vicious cycle of recession. The government is committed to taking specific measures to support everyone who will bear the painful consequences. Only a month into his presidency, Nikos Anastasiades has had his work cut out for him. But the climb is only set to get steeper. His country's economy has been battered, and he'll have to convince the people of Cyprus that bowing to EU demands was not just his only option, but the right one. But it'll be a tough sell after his government accepted a deal in Brussels to tax small depositors. A week later, not one MP in the Cypriot Parliament backed the agreement, seen by many as an act of defiance against the EU. It was then that anti-Euro sentiment began to boil, many protesters siding with Eurosceptic voices from fellow Eurozone countries like Portugal and Greece blamed Germany for imposing tough measures in exchange for a bailout. But as Cypriots began to come to grips with events of the past week, perception of Europe's handling of the crisis was more balanced. If, if we went back to the Cypriot pound, then it would have been really hard because the Cypriot pound would have been really undervalued. And, you know, you can't start from there. They provide a loan. Their, uh, their aspirations are not, at, are not economical. They are definitely political. But on the other hand, at least you have the opportunity to get the help you need because in other circumstances, you probably would have just gone bankrupt. But now that Cyprus is on an EU lifeline, dependency may become an issue. Every three months, Troika will be coming back with new measures before they give us the next payment. So that is going to cause even more anger. This wave of people against Troika is going to grow. And we do have some uh, politicians in Cyprus and some political parties which are uh, helping towards that. Thinking, thinking that we'll get some political benefits from that, but causing damage to the whole economy. Cyprus has so far come closest to unraveling the euro, and with things set to get worse before they get better, it may be that growing euro skepticism will push Cyprus back to the brink. Sandra Gottman, CCTV, Nicosia.